All right, so hopefully you've completed questions one through six on Delta Math. And so now you're, we've got this question number seven, which looks kind of crazy, and number eight is pretty similar. Um, but really all we're doing here is we're just looking at this picture over here. And you're answering, you're looking at these angles and determining, are they congruent or do they add to 180? Is this even true? Would this make these parallel? And if it is, what reason from up above would make it? And then if it isn't, then you would just say, no, they're not parallel. So um, remember that this squiggly line here is a way so that I don't have to write <clears throat> measure angle two equals measure angle four. I can just write angle two is congruent to angle four and it means the same thing with less stuff. So <clears throat> if two is congruent to four, does that make some lines parallel? And oh, and then we have to figure out which lines are parallel because we've got four lines here. So we could have these two parallel could be C and D or A and B. So if we're looking here, this makes A our transversal, which would make C and D parallel. And these are on C and D, these are um, corresponding angles. So I would say that C is parallel to D and um, the converse that we're using is corresponding. Okay, so then if we look at like five and 10, I'm gonna actually erase this because um, we no longer are assuming that that is true. Five and 10, if those were congruent, that means I've got that C is now my transversal and I'm comparing A and B and trying to decide if those would be parallel. And these are alternate interior angles to A and B. So that would make those parallel because alternate interior is should make congruent angles. So five and 10 make A parallel to B. And that is by alternate, but it already says converse, so you don't have to write the converse thing. Okay, let's do one more, and then you guys can get to work on this on your own. Um, but the measure angle one plus measure angle 13 adds to 180. So now I'm not saying they're congruent. I'm actually saying that they're supplementary. supplementary. So there's one and then 13 would not be the same, but they would add to 180. Um, and if I look at those, the, the, to me that tracks because 13 is, is um, corresponding to five and those two are a linear pair. And then really the reason would be because they are consecutive exterior angles, which can sometimes be hard for people to see. So you can just kind of double check yourself with what I said about corresponding and linear pair. But these are on the outside of A and B and they're, but they're on the same side of C. So they're consecutive exterior because they're outside angles and consecutive exterior angles are supposed to be supplementary. So adding to 180 is good. So I'm going to write, that does prove that A is parallel to B by alternate, or no, sorry, not alternate. We were talking about consecutive. Notice alternate is almost, is always congruent. Consecutive is always supplementary. So consecutive exterior angles. Okay, so what I want you to do next is you're going to go, is finish this, and then on Delta Math, I put the, I put the answers in Delta Math so that you can check your work and make sure that you're doing this right. Um, for number seven and for number eight. So go ahead and get to work on that and good luck.